Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to Card Making Project 528. In this episode we're going to use our Anna Griffin supplies to make a gorgeous card and we're incorporating acetate to build up our embellishments on the front to give it kind of like a different look. And the project doesn't always go to plan on this occasion so keep your eyes peeled and I'm really sorry I forgot to use the curtains because I threw myself off track with a bit of a blooper in the middle. But we get there in the end, so don't panic, it's, um, it's all good. Please check my blog for a list of everything that I use and the adhesives and everything like that. There's always lots more photos on my blog and please give me the thumbs up. If uh, you like a project, please share with your crafty friends and you can always find me on Facebook. You can always find me on Twitter, on Instagram, all the links are at the end of the video. So please sit back, relax and let's have a look at today's gorgeous project. So for today's project we're going to be using the Anna Griffin window ledge die set. Do you remember that? From a year or so back we're going to be using the actual window die. We're going to be using the curtain die. And then we're also going to be using the fancy canopy die and the little bow. Now this is kind of decorative in the background. You'll see that it's there but we've got other focal points in front of it. So the first thing that we're going to need is our base card. So that is a 7x5 inch card in ivory. And what I've done is I've stamped on the back using one of my Anna Griffin handmade stamps. I've just stamped it and added my name. And that way that if you give the card to a, um, a person, they will know who's made it in years to come when they've saved it. So the size of the card for new viewers, because I know we get new viewers all the time and I want to be able to give you perspective at home. This is my cardometer, it's something I've come up with to be able to give you um, just an idea of the size of the card. I was asked a long time ago by um, Elizabeth to show the variations of the card sizes so that she knew at home and I thought long and hard and I thought this is the best way. A4 is the largest of our cardometer, A5, 7x5, A6, A7, ATC. Now I know my friends across the pond, your A4 is slightly different and then your system is different as you go down in um, A5 to A6 etc. However it gives you perspective. The size of the card that we're going to use is the 7x5. Okay, so I hope that helps. And I do like the fact that you like my cardometer. So, first thing I'm going to do is take my bone folder, and this was from the Anna Griffin tool collection, available both sides of the ponds at some point. And I'm just scoring it, using it to make sure the score is nice and neat along the edge. So we're going to do the inside first. Now the inside to this card I think is really nice, it's really simple but very pretty. I've taken one of the pretty pattern cards, 7x5 inches, and I've just trimmed it down slightly. And I've taken the card section away. So I've cut it so it's just a frame. And then that way we can use it for our insert panel. I've got flat tape on the back of it. Now I am asked a lot about the tape that I use. I just use flat double sided tape and mine is quite wide. I use the 25mm wide one or the 12mm wide one. It just depends what I've got in my stash basically and it would be the same for you as well. Sometimes I use wet glue if I do I tend to use glossy accents and silicone if I'm attaching flowers. So I hope that helps. I try to answer as I go because it's just thinking, oh, somebody wrote in about the tape and I just wanted to mention it. So I've cut the card down from the pretty pattern cards into just the one section, so it was the front of the card. And I've got flat tape on the back of it. Now, I've added an arrow at the back for any eagle-eyed viewers. And I've also cut a line across the bottom of the pattern using a craft knife. Now if you haven't got a craft knife, it doesn't matter, you could use your scissors, but it's just a little slit along the bottom. 
because what I've done is I've taken some of the flowers from the Treliage collection because we're going to use a lot of the die cuts from the Treliage collection for this card and I think you're going to like it because it's very different is this card. Uh, I've taken the flowers and I've got flat tape on the back of them and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slot the flowers into the little cut that I've made at the bottom. So my flowers will just pop through the cut and then I can press it down onto what's going to be our card insert. I can press that down. Now I can add this to the inside of our card and stick it down. There we go, just bear with me while I peel the tape away. There. And we can pop that inside. You can see I've trimmed the actual card front down just to be able to fit. And then I've taken one of the sentiments again from the Treliage collection of die cuts and it says to my friend, I've got flat tape on the back of it which I can peel away and I can just add the sentiment I would say in the flowers kind of there so I've just trimmed some of the leaves so that I can pop my sentiment in between the flowers and that it can sit kind of over and kind of under there we go and press it down and that's our insert that's going to match perfectly to our outside nice little bit of room for your message for you to and from and it's just very pretty it will match perfectly to the outside so now we can turn our attention to the outside I'm going to use my bone folder again to make sure I've got a nice sharp scar along the edge and I'm just going to put the card to one side because we're going to work away from the card for now so what I've done is I've cut out again from the pretty patterns I've cut out the frame that we've just used for the inside I've taken away the extra card section and I've taken away the inside of it and what I'm going to do because I've got two lengths of tape around the inside I'm going to peel away the inside tape. Now this is here because we're going to add our window to the back of this and I want to be able to stick the window that I've die cut and I've die cut it on ivory paper and then I've just tinted it with a little bit of ink to make it look a little bit rustic. Um, I didn't want it really clean ivory I just wanted it a little bit rustic and I'm going to place the window over the aperture now I'm hoping I'm going to get this straight it's only going to touch barely either side but I'm just hoping it is going to find its own level she says putting it down wrong and it gets all not to worry don't panic Mr Mannerin we might have caught it quick enough so we'll try that again it's not going to affect it don't panic there we go didn't take my fingers away quick enough so that's our window into the centre of the frame now we're not going to use it as a window opener. We're not going to, it's not actually going to do something on this card. As I say, it's more for decoration. Now I'm just going to peel away the back of some of the tape because I can chatter on and we can build up that card front. And while you're still thinking about my boo-boo and not getting my window framing straight, by the time you've thought about that, I'll have taken all the back of the tape away and then we can start building our card. 
Now I'm going to say the acetate that I'm going to use is project acetate. It's um, I normally like the quite thick acetate when I'm making shaker cards, but this is just classed as um, acetate for projects, so it's a little bit thinner. So we can go back to our card now and I'm going to add a background. Now this could be any paper whatsoever. I've used scrap paper and I'm just thinking I'm going to do it the other way around first. I'm going to add my window frame to it to make sure I get it underneath the section that I want. It could be any paper because it is just for background. It isn't like a card background. Then we can add the whole thing to our card. In fact, before we do that, we're going to add our acetate. I am so bad today, aren't I? I really am, I'm out of practice. I've got a piece of acetate and it's an inch and a half wide it's a strip of acetate that's an inch and a half wider than the card as well. So it's roughly eight and a half inches. Sorry. See, I'm so bad. I'm going to get the thumbs down for this video. It's normally five inches wide for the card. So it's an inch and a half wider. So it's six and a half inches wide. But it's a strip that's a, an inch and a half wide itself. I've got tape on parts of it and I'm going to hook it around the outside of our window and I'm just going to hook it around about half an inch away from the bottom maybe a little bit less and it's just going from can you see this I've put it to one side there and then I'm going to hook it around the opposite side and it's scored and cut half a centimetre wider than the actual card so it bows in the middle can you see that as it's wrapped round now I can attach this to my card front I'm so sorry I'm normally you know, on the ball, but not today. So we can add that to our card front. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start decorating the top of the card. I've taken the canopy that was in the die set for the window ledge. I've die cut it in ivory paper. I've just given it a little bit of an ink. And then I've heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. Can you see that? So it's nice and shiny. And I'm going to pop that just over the top of our window. Like that. And then I've taken two of the bows that's in the die set. And again, I've inked them with purple. Just it could be any purple ink. And then I'm going to simply add them just to the side of the canopy, like that. And the little tails of the bows cover the canopy edge so that where it didn't sit to the edge in the frame, it now does. So you see where I mean down the little edge there. Next. I've taken one of the flower die cuts from the Trelliage collection and I'm just going to simply pop it towards the back of the card underneath the acetate like that and then I've taken two of the well I think the delphiniums and all the gardeners amongst you are now shouting at me if I've got that wrong and um, hey ho so we'll go with delphiniums because I've got some very similar to this that are hollyhocks that grow this way and mine are always covered in caterpillars I'm not that green fingered I'm making myself out to be very green fingered but I don't know I think these could be delphiniums 
Anyway, write and tell me because I'm sure you will. So I've taken two of them. I've slightly trimmed some of the greenery away. And I've got a little bit of flat tape on the back. And I'm simply going to add this to the acetate. So we're going to just put it at an angle like that. And I'm hoping it's going to stick. There we go. And I'm going to do exactly the same at the other side with one. And I know you're saying to me, so, Amory, how will the card go in an envelope? Because it's going to stick up with having the acetate and these things on. Well, because it's got acetate on and it's not too high, it will all just press down and it won't harm it at all. So, it's going to look a lot better when it's stood up, trust me. So then I've got another little die cut of flowers. Again, I've got tape on the back. And this one's going to go on the front of our acetate. And I'm just curling it slightly to give it a little bit of a bend because I want it to bend with the acetate. Now at this point, I should be adding a little bit of glue really for the, everything to stick but for quickness, why not? Next, I've got the sentiment. And the sentiment, again, is from the Trelliage collection. I've got 3D foam on the back of it. I'm just curling it slightly. And I'm going to pop it over the flowers, like so. And then we've got a little bow to add underneath the sentiment, like so. That. Again, just on 3D foam, press it down, it won't hurt it. And then to finish it off, I've got a little butterfly that I've got on 3D foam. And I've got a tiny dragonfly as well. And I'm going to add the dragonfly at the back, like that. And that is our card finished. Now... I'm going to show you it from all the angles and it just, I mean it stands up perfectly and I know you can't see the front when it stood up like that. I will take lots of photos and put them on my blog. Now I think that is just gorgeous, the way that they're layered. You could really go for it for the layers that you put in with the acetate. Just remember to make it half a centimetre or a centimetre bigger than the base that you're using so you get the bow effect on the front and then you can add your embellishments and it just makes it so 3D and it will squash down to go in an envelope in the normal size 7x5 envelope and then it'll pop back into shape you can see I have just pressed that right down and then it just pops back the inside matches the outside perfectly for the flowers and it's just so pretty. And now you can see what I mean about the windows at the back. They're more for decoration than anything else. Just for a backdrop. And it's just a gorgeous card. Go in a normal envelope. It's not that heavy because you haven't actually got that many layers on it. It's just the acetate that makes it stand out -y. Uh, I think that's really pretty. And I'm going to take lots of photos, as I say, so please check my blog and I will put a full ingredient list on there of everything that I've used. And I think, you know, we've got all our dyes that we've had for years and we just want to use them. You could change the flowers, you could change um, the frame, you could use some of the newer flowers. But I think with the Trelliage collection and the window ledge set, it just works. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up. If my boo-boo has amused you, then, you know, um, let me know. I do love hearing from you. So I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time.